and then our the position of the other object becomes our position as set before which we said here actually yeah that's another thing I, I need to mention actually um, the object position and object rot variables are changed here they don't have to be changed here they can be set um, any time within the update function um, as long as it's not inside an if statement because it has to be updated constantly so we always know where the um, pick to object is so that's just transform position transform rotation so it's always updating um, and then the hits transform position and rotation are set to the same as that and then um, once we've released the mouse so if we release the mouse and picking then it sets back to false and then can pick is set back to false so then it doesn't it, it, that's another bug fix because um, we had some I had some errors while I was writing this script um, and also if the mouse button is down and can pick is false so if we click when the when we've already got an object picked up and then our pick object um, has refused throw is is false so um, because because of this bit here so if it's not touching another object so this is going on to throwing now um, then you can pick is true again um, we also change the gra turn gravity back on make kinematic false again turn the parent to nothing um, and then we set the trigger to false so it's then a collider again and then we add the add a force uh, add a force um, of the fo forward from the transform by 8000 just because that's a, a number that I picked um, it doesn't really matter you can set that to whatever you want whatever suits your scene because it's going to affect the amount that the object is pushed and it will fly it's almost like you've thrown it so it will reduce its velocity will reduce while, you, while it's flying um, until it hits something and then uh, pig, ob pig object is uh, changed back to our reference just so we fix that bug from before and then finally we've got our if you press it if you press the right mouse button down uh, this is a very small little bit that makes it so you just drop the object rather than throw it so we've also got um, if can pick is false and pick object is uh, the refuse throw is, is, tr is, is false as well then it does exactly the same as before except it doesn't have this section in so it just drops the object to where it is and it, as long as you keep your um, pick to um, far far enough away from your from your character then it shouldn't collide with you as well so this it is a little bit far away at the moment just because the object's quite big but one final thing just as I found an error um, the pick to reference also needs the pick, picked up object script attached to it uh, because it comes up with, a, with an error uh, at points um, so go back into the game and if you click to start it will get rid of the mouse and then you can pick up the object and it says pick up there you can pick it up and it is attached to you and then you click again to throw it and if I just play that again and then we can right click to drop and that will just drop it as it is and we can pick it back up and throw it um, so it's a very useful tool say if you're making a um, horror game and you're picking up you, all you can do is pick up objects and like kind of throw them back to avoid things and um, yeah I think it's I think it's a useful tool and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so uh, just feel free to comment if you've got any questions and like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time